Hello everyone, welcome to another Thursday night at the Art House Studio. My name is Karen Ellis and oh my gosh, I scrapbooked. <laughs> this is a, I haven't scrapbooked a page in a long time, but I had a photo of my daughter. There she is, she was taken last August, right before she headed to university. And um, it went really nicely with this background page that I created with the Deco Art Americana multi-surface paints. So here's the paints. See, here we go. And um, so I thought I'd pull a page together and um, get ready and use it maybe as a sample for Scrap Fest, which I will be participating in uh, April here in Kitchener, Ontario. So um, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to show you how I created the background because I really quite like the paints and I'd love to show you what I found with them. So here's the deal. So I have a piece of white this is super stock Canadian scrapbooker sells super stock it is a really heavy I think it's like a 160 pound smooth card and it's awesome but you could use watercolor paper if you wanted to anything heavy because of course we're using paint on there I wouldn't use like a regular piece of uh, cardstock but you could just iron it out maybe after if this paint's so thin it'd probably be okay thin in a nice way so I'm just gonna put a little bit of some paint down on the page um, this is coastal waters there we go I like that name coastal waters and um, they are satin paints yes they are satin paints <laughs> and I'm just gonna drag some paint across this is a unprimed it's just that paper as it is so drag it across and just get a little bit of color start me off there and I'm gonna take a stencil now I do have ring doily here from crafters workshop and I quite like this one and I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna use the deco art spray Here's the turquoise shimmer. Just gonna give it a little shake, make sure it's all mixed up. And uh, give her a spritz. So I always spritz on and then turn it over and place just so that I can get a different um, pattern, use up all my ink just kind of roll it onto the paper and use my stencil kind of like a stamp get some paint on there it's good to me cha -ching, cha -ching, cha -ching. so I am going to oh, oh if I can reach it I'm just going to give this a dry. As you can see, the paper did curl a little bit. Oh, a lot, actually. If I dry it out, it'll flatten. And I can continue adding some more paint to my surface. You didn't know Deco Art made sprays. Yes, they do. I quite like them. I used them um, here before. They make the shimmer sprays, but they also have um, Mister. They call them misters. Ooh, hold on, I'm trying to get it so that it's not focusing, but they make misters. <laughs> There's about 12 different colors, including the shimmers. There's about three shimmer sprays, and the rest are uh, a matte. I quite like them because, of course, they're paint, so um, they don't reactivate when you put anything else on top of that. Well, they're fairly new out down the market, but I carry them here in my store. So um, I'm kind of happy that I have a, I have a nice little array. <laughs> now I am going to add some pink to this. And um, I'm just trying to decide how I want to do that. I think I'm going to take, this is a flamingo. You saw that flamingo. I'm going to take some flamingo pink. And I'm going to do the same thing. Just put a little bit of paint on the paper. That's Eileen's face. Thank you. 
I'm going to add a little bit more green now that the red's kind of dry because I really want that that to come through a little more. So I'm just going to add a little more green. You see how translucent it is? Like it's really transparent. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so I have some frisket film here. Now I was using it tonight to cut out some circles. I'm just going to do that again because I really quite liked it and it was really neat. The frisket film is adhesive. So um, I don't have any left in the store. I don't think if I do, I have like one package. I have to get some more of this in because I'm in love and I can totally see this on a jelly plate. But um, the only thing I'm going to have trouble with online is getting the backing off because I tend to don't, I'm not able to do two things at once typically. <laughs> there we go. So it's adhesive. So I know you're not going to be able to see it very well. Well, as I put it down, but trust me, you will see it as soon as I start painting over it. So frisket film, I'll show, I'll give you, show you the cover. I'll give you, I'll show you, I'll do it. Goodness gracious. Here it is. Clear frisket film low tack masking there you go so it's very thin but it is adhesive so you can cut your own patterns out I was thinking how fun that would be with the scan and cut <laughs> cut out some different masks and that with this sticky and then uh, put it on your jelly plate or put it like you're, I'm doing here right on your paint because it's low tack it's not going to take this off and that's so now I'm going to take uh, another blue. This one is deep turquoise, so it's a deeper version than what I've already put on. I'm just going to give it a shake and put some on my craft mat. And start brushing it on. Now, again, this is th very thin. It goes on very nicely, very with lots of translucency. So even though I'm painting on here, you can still see everything underneath. Now the more that you add, of course the more opaque it becomes. I'm just gonna, I like getting my fingers in it. I know people sometimes get mad at me for doing this, but I'm gonna do that anyway. So I'm painting the whole thing and in a second I'm going to get a darker, deeper color. translucency of that um, multi-surface satin paint. I was really surprised at that. It's, it's, it's next to an ink. Yeah. Yeah. I was really pleased. So this is the same paint that of course you can put in an oven and um, put on glass and, and cure it. Like it's wild. And Sarah's like, oh, what? Yeah. So um, pit pens are fabulous on here. I was decorating with those. This one is just um, the brush, like the regular brush tip pit pen. Um, for what I was doing with um, 
the layout that I did for my daughter. This worked really well. I wanted to have a black line on there somewhere, so I doodled in the black and then painted over it. So I'm just going to do that now and show you how I did it. So this is the finished one and this is how I got there. See that? Kind of works. I kind of like it. You can see all the pattern underneath just by painting it. Ta-da! <laughs> but this would make great background paper for something. See the nice satin sheen that the paint's giving? And it's very, very thin. It's very, very smooth. Certainly right on it. It's very cool. Yeah. It's fun. I should, like, make cards out of this. Maybe I should cut it up and do cards and stuff. That would be cool. Really cool. Perhaps I will do that. Maybe I'll do that tonight while you guys are working on your journal projects, and I'll post this with the... Um, recording of this video on my blog that works works for me so I am going to um, I'm going to say goodbye to the recording people right now and uh, thank you very much for joining me and we'll see you again next Thursday at 630 Eastern and I have no idea what I'm gonna do but we'll have some fun anyway Okay. Thanks so much for joining me. And again, you can find this video and the related projects all on our blog, theardhousestudio.blogspot.com. And um, you can visit us on Facebook too, The Art House Studio. We have a page there and it'll be posted on the Facebook page as well. So have a wonderful week and we'll see everyone who's watching the recording again next time. Thanks again. Bye guys.